Shalom family, welcome to His Initial Hour, and this is my very first DIY SUV camper. And I'm excited, and I felt the need to share this with y'all. So um, before we begin, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all that you're doing. I thank you for every person that will watch this video, Lord God. And I pray that it's truly a blessing and it's educational and that you will be glorified, Yahweh. I surrender this all unto you. Please the blood of Jesus over this vehicle in my long summer nights, Lord God. Thank you for sending this idea this my way, <laughs> for sending this idea my way and making this a desire of my heart, King Jesus. I surrender everything before you. Let your will be done in all of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, right? So we are going to get started on this this um as i was praying and coming home one day god actually showed me how i pretty much have everything that i need to really start this in a minimalist way so as you see i have three back row seats right here um they're broken off into two sections and i am going to drop them down this is a 2020 um ford edge so all i have to do is push these automatic buttons here i'm going to drop the left side down boom there that is and this left side here is going to be where my bed is going to be. And then the right side is going to be for storage. Let's take a, take a quick look from this angle. There we go. And here we are. These are literally just some household items that I have. This mattress um, actually was left out by the dumpster. It was an oak baby crib from people who were moving out. Totally clean. It was fine. I checked it. And we've been having it in our extra room for a minute now. And God reminded me that that would work perfectly as my bed here. This is just one of my favorite sheets. Sheets that I like to pray in, <laughs> honestly. It's my sackcloth. So I keep that. Just a pillow. Um, for my bed, this is going to be a little thicker blanket that will keep um, the padding um, not so stiff and give me something softer to lay on. And then this is a bean bag that I actually had picked up from the Goodwill for maybe three bucks. And I'm going to use that to be at the front of the bed um, to make it longer, right? I am 5'8", five, 5'9", five, and this is a baby mattress crib. So watch how I transform this. And let me not forget... I bought this uh, like ten dollar mattress mattress topper. It's a twin size mattress topper from Walmart, and I'm gonna throw that on there too for some extra cushion. Stay tuned. I'm hop in over here on this side as well. Um, just move the pillow and pop in there. I do plan on getting one of those um, rooftop tents that go on SUVs. We'll see how that works. Here is my driver's seat. I want to let y'all know that I would be able to recline. Uh, one second. <laughs> I would be able to recline if I wanted to recline pretty much as far back as I needed to. And that's great because I'm a fairly tall driver. Um, and then when I get ready to hop back in, hop back and go to sleep. I just come back and push it forward if I need it forward. So that's great. There we have it. Best set is set up. Looking great. Nice and comfy. With that foam matcher. I got additional sheet on there. And um, then I have actually my old college back when I was an undergrad. Um, top cover. So kids watching this. College kids watching this. Save your stuff, man. It's a great investment. So right here, this is where the storage is going to go for my clothes and whatever items I pick up along the way. So let's see how I transform that. So here's what we're looking like so far. And um, this actually came with my car. And it's just like a little net to keep stuff from falling out. So right now I just kind of got um, some miscellaneous things in there that was in my car anyway. But they're really good. Got an additional little blankie. Um, <laughs> I sell CMOS, so this is actually a box that I use for that um, when I'm shipping for my other business. And Kleenex, of course, always lovely to have. Bed is all set up. It's leaning a little bit over there, but when I lay down, I can't feel it, so that's no problem. Um, we got our storage here. Here I just got some additional clothes, t-shirts and things um, in the white drawer. And then here in the storage, I have kind of my more, I have different clothes in here and like kind of more business type clothes and um, just all kinds of clothes in here. And then some toiletries and things like that here in the back. Not quite done. Um, I noticed that I still had a couple of other things in the house that I could use that could fit in this space. Um, and I'm trying to make the most out of all of it. So stay tuned. All right. So I came and added my babies. This is Aurora, PM, and Lil Llama. 
Um, yeah, they are all given to me by very special people. Call me where I don't care. I have this beautiful comforter or blanket throw on my bed um, that my mom gifted to me. And I would just love to keep that with me as I travel. So shout out to my mom. And then here is just a bag that I got from my old university. And um, I got my towels in here, more toiletries and things like that, extra pillowcase, um, this really cool fan that I got like an undergrad and never used, um, some hats, see some smell goods, and just additional knickknacks that will really come in handy when I need them. And then I found a cool little cubby space right here to stick some additional shoes. So here you have it, my DIY do-it-yourself SUV camper, right? Stay tuned. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Uh, God bless you in Jesus' name. Shalom, family. Amen.